And uh, that's who we're facing today. We're facing Q the Costa Rican, uh, Big Homie, Prep City resident. Uh, big shouts to him. I think he is streaming alongside me. Regardless, if you do exclamation point Q, uh, his YouTube link will pop up because he has been uploading. He's been uploading uh, the NCP. And uh, I'm going to talk about the matchup a little bit before we get into it. However, this will not be nearly as long as away as it was versus Struggle King last week. Uh, we waited about like 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 40 minutes for that. This is going to be like 5 to 10, and that's just me rambling. So I'll go for the matchup up, so I can at least give you guys some frame of reference here. This is a rematch. Uh, me and Q, ironically, were in the same pools, and now we're meeting in the finals, which I think is really, really cool. And, uh, you know, Q's a good homie of mine, and we seem to only meet in big state games, and this is just another example of that. So, you see my team on the left, the teams, it's been the team I've been rocking out with this entire tournament, and for this final game, same deal. Team on the left is Q's, same team it's been. Um, but, uh, ironically enough, my, uh, my opponent in Autos World Cup also has Victini's at this, so this is one of the, one of two times I have to prep for this core this week. But that's irrelevant to today's game. Matchup wise, I did say last time that this was a really decent matchup for me, and frankly, it it sort of is. But the fact that this is a rematch and I won the first game, I think really starts to give Q the edge because uh, he knows the team I brought last time. I'm pretty sure I sent him it, and I know the team he brought last time. So, you know, we all we know what we brought last time. Yo, what's up, guys? Everyone's floating in the chat now. Uh, I want to thank you. Uh, Kurt for pinging everybody in NCP. Uh, fun times. But yeah, this is very Pog. I hope... Hello, everybody. Fine, everyone's here. Um, but yeah, as I said, I thought our matchup last time was really good. This time, it's still good, but I think Q has a lot of a better chance this time, just solely because I've already kind of made a team for this, so he knows what route I'm going for. There's a ginormous elephant in the room, big horse cock in the room. Uh, Nihiligo had a god tier matchup last time, and we, we acknowledged that from the beginning. Uh, it was kind of a joke almost. Uh, Q knows that. I know that. He prepped for it last time. He's going to have to prep for it this time. Uh, Nihiligo didn't really see much play last game, but that's because I had a decent team built around my other mons in that game. Uh, because I feel like I had to switch it around this time, which I, spoilers, I have switched it up quite a bit, I am feeling a little bit less confident, but... You know, if we win, we win. We lose, we lose. It's been a great ride along the way. And uh, your guys' support really has been a big reason why I've been enjoying uh, my final... This is going to be my final Wi-Fi game of the generation, which is crazy. So, um, you know, I want to thank you guys for that. It really means a lot. Uh, again, just going to keep the matchup there, up there for a bit. Uh, our game plan, we have a lot of pivots in this game. And I kind of am going all in with my setup mods and my uh, end games because I have a few of them. Like, I have two to three endgames here, and I need one of those to work. Because the other three are, like, almost soul support, which is very rare for me to... Not rare for me to do, but, like... Going... I went, like, full, full utility on my, some of my moms this week, which is a little bit... Shaky. But it is what it is. Hopefully, it'll get the job done. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is that this game will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, I wasn't planning on uploading NCP, which... I, frankly, I can't because I've already lost most of my VODs, but um, I always upload all my finals games regardless of, you know, when it happens or not because I uploaded a finals game a year after it happened one time. Um, and this game, will, I'm going to try to get this up next week just for people who can't hit, uh, hit up the stream. Alright, so here we go. This is a uh, sneak peek of the finals team we're bringing here. You know, observe it while you can here. Uh, we are not bringing Lorantis, and we are not bringing Mesprit, even though I really wanted Mesprit on this team. Could not fit it, and, um, big re main, main reason is because he has not been bringing Boos on Zapdos once, and I can't fit Rocks on Nihil Ego, so, a little bit unfortunate, but, uh, that's the team we're gonna rock out with. Alright, he's like a look of fun, I'm gonna be 151. Alrighty, here we go. This is NCP Summer Slam 2022 Summer Slam Grand Finals versus Q the Coast Rican. Shout out to my opponent. Link in the description below for YouTube. What's up? And uh, exclamation point Q in Twitch chat for you guys here. Hello, everybody. Uh, as per usual, 
I'm not ignoring you guys, but I will not be looking at uh, stream nearly as much when I battle, just because I need to focus, frankly, on the game. Uh, but I can still see it on the side. I just tend not to read it often. But let's make this a good one. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, all the way, basically. Just need to find the right volume for this. That's fine. Whatever. It's low for you guys. And here we go. This is it. If we win, we win. We lose, we lose. That's that's just my mentality going into this. Also, my team gets boned by Nido Queen, by the way. My specific team gets destroyed by it. So, uh, just a little last tip note. There it is. Good luck, have fun to queue. Uh, there's literally no Nido Queen. Holy shit. That is massive. Oh my god. And no Hitmon on top. Okay. No Nido Queen. Wow. That is huge for me. That's really good. And no Hitmon on top. Okay, that's whatever. That makes me really glad I didn't mess for it. That actually works perfect. Uh this this is like good for me. That being said, I'll still manage to figure a way how to how to throw this. Alright, so my lead is going to be one of my pivot mods up top. Uh, which one looks better here? Which one looks worse? Scizor surprising, well, surprisingly looks like it actually gives me a decent amount of value here. Uh, Scizor lead versus Feeny wouldn't matter, and the Zapdos wouldn't matter as much either. And with Victina, I always have Incineroar. So actually, I kind of like Scizor. But Incineroar's not bad either. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Scizor first. Yeah, Scizor's fine. Um, and yeah, don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, we're gonna lock in. All right, good luck, have fun to queue. Let's make it a good one. All right, that's the only that note. Very shocked to see no Nido Queen. I'm just blown away by that. Him on top a little bit too, as well. Uh, but there is a tree this time, and there's a Guzzlord. So we have to see what they're up to. Uh, JV, that's a Victini. That's a bad lead for me. Uh, very bad lead. Fortunately for me, I do have an Incineroar for this. So uh, I am always just going to go into that Mon. I don't care if he U-turns personally. Actually, I just got to do it. Don't waste my time on turns like these when I know my play is very clear. If I let Incineroar, this would have been a great lead. And this would have been a really good scenario to be in. He's going to U-turn probably, but I don't really care all that much. He's intimidated. He U-turns, yeah. Like, this won't do too too much. Brings me on the 180. That does 21 points of damage. That does not look banded. That is not even max attack. So he might be special or mixed. Or just not fully invested. Regardless, it's really good to know. Goes into this thing. I'm going to stay in. I don't really care if he weakens my thing. Uh, he can't kill me with the, with the move, I don't believe. So, I'm gonna knock off and then parting shot. Yeah. If he, get, if he like, trades this, I'm fine. Yeah, he trades. That's, that's cool. Um, it's not, like, the greatest trade for me, admittedly. But, um, that's a solid word on. So, he probably goes into Victini now. That's pretty free for him, admittedly. Uh, what makes my team less weak to that mon? Like, what's the what's mon I go into here? I wanna go... Hmm. Kinda wanna go Jolteon. I'm gonna go Jolteon. He goes back out. Yeah, like, I figured he would. I have a feeling this thing's Scarf. And the issue is V creates relatively free for him now. Um, do I really run a risk of Jolteon right now? The answer is not really personally. That being said, if I set up right now with the Mon, what stops me? The tree. The Zygarde meaning. Um, so part of me wants to go into Feeny. Do I need Feeny? I feel like I kind of do. So I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to go for the Rain Dance. 
He might be Scarf and just V Creek kill me, which is not great. But I don't think I'm in a position to where I really want to risk that. And there is drawbacks to him clicking a fire move here. If he's faster, he's Scarf, because I am meant to outfeed this. He could go for Scorching Sands too, but he might just not bring that. Considering. He goes for Final Gambit on this too. Wow, okay, that's. This guy is a suicidal maniac. Alright. Well, we're down two mods, but he's also down two mods. Again, these trades aren't really that bad for me all, personally. I was not expecting him to do that. He was Scarf. I have to be careful with the mods I'm, like, sacking. Jesus Christ, man. Um, Nihiligo is just looking more and more free, just by the way. I might go into that now. I might go into Scizor, too. Scizor is not looking crazy important here. Eh, actually, it is kind of a little bit. I think I'm going to go Nihiligo. Yeah, I'm going to go Nihiligo. We'll see what he wants to do. He goes into the tree, so I could have went on the scissor. That didn't help me out. Found my power herb, so he knows of my set. Plus one meteor beam. Has a chance to knock out a max HP variant. I don't know if I want to risk that. I kind of don't. I think I'm going to go into scissor. If this thing's banded, that would be really bad, though. I have no speed on my guy either. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Scizor on this. I kind of wish I went into Scizor there, but it's fine. I always go into this and knock off. I don't want to risk my Nihi, because Nihi can very easily win this game. I just need a little bit of chip on things. He goes for the Trick Room. Alright, that's scary. Tree does not get anything to really touch the Scizor, though, which is nice. So I'm not all scared quite yet. Uh, I'm going to click knockoff, I think, this turn. Yeah, I just click knockoff. I'm really glad I switched out there. That was a good play for me. Uh, he switches out, so something is tanking a knockoff here. I'm gonna go on to this. This is going to be the Feeny. So this thing's item's gone. That's cool. Uh, it's not Misty Surge. So I'm gonna knock off whatever I had. I had Choice Scarf. Okay, good to know. I'm going to click Toxic on this. And weaken this thing. So I am faster. I'm going for Toxic. I do connect. Distinguished Choice Scarf we know. So he can't two-shot. He shouldn't be able to two-shot me. He goes for Trick. Uh, that's not good because I'm tricked into... Wait, no, it doesn't matter. He steals my leftovers, but that's annoying, but whatever. I don't have a choice card, which is good. So now I kind of just want to knock off again, right? I don't really mind this thing. I could also U-turn, but I don't have the greatest switch in. Actually, let me see how many turns the Trick from our left. There's two, so I'm going to knock off once and then I'll U-turn. Yeah. Alright, I'll get loaded this, loaded this thing's leftovers. Like, my leftovers don't really matter all that much. He's going to pump. Uh, this will do a bit, but it's fine. I do live this. Uh, okay, he's pretty offensively invested. Jeez. Uh, so now I U-turn. Or I just roost. I feel like this thing's have, being healthy is really nice for me. I don't think I really need this thing's health all that much. As long as I keep it alive. But if I U-turn into Feeny, then that's like, so good for me. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn into Feeny. That gives me, I think, more out of the turn. So I'm gonna tank a Hydro Pump on my Feeny here.
And that's what I'm going to go out into every time. I have Toy Scarf myself. And Moonblast is looking pretty free. So, yeah. I do need this thing semi-healthy, though, for the uh, Guzzlord. He just pumps. Again, this won't do a crazy ton. Yeah, not, not all that much. That's good. Um, Toxic's going to rack up quite a bit. And I just fire off a Moonblast. I am faster than this. Um, and we just fire from the blast. Yeah. So he's just gonna stay and tank it. He doesn't know if I'm Scarf. And Feeny's dead. Cool. That threat's gone. That Guzzler in the back is still a little scary, but not the end of the world quite yet. He goes back out to the tree. So he knows I'm Scarf. Oh, okay, he knows I'm Scarf. This is where I go Scizor again. Actually, yeah, definitely go Scizor here. Um, that gives me so much, because he can't Poltergeist me, because I have no item. And he trick rooms like in Roost. So he goes for Trick Room again. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if he goes hard Guzzler, that's not great for me. I don't quite know what Guzzler can do to me. The Feeny meaning. I know he gets Belch. Oh, he gets Poison Jump and Sludge Wave. He does get Poison moves. Okay. So I am going to... Huh. Hmm. I really want a U-turn. I really want a U-turn. And I think I'm going to. Or I knock off. Knock off a U-turn. I think I... I think I U-turn. Yeah. I, I took a lot of time that turn. He Poltergeist. He can't do it. That's actually really good for me. So this is going to be big damage. That's massive damage. Was that a crit? That was a crit. Let's go. That's big, because now Nihi can kill this thing outside of Trick Room. Uh, I go Zygarde. Doesn't really matter who I go out into, because I'm probably just going to go back out into Scizor. Uh, so he is Leftovers? Leftovers. Um, do I just coil here? Does Draco do a lot to my guy here? There is terrain up. Does do a lot. Not much of terrain. Okay. I'm taking a lot of time, but I, know, I recognize this battle's gonna end soon. There's three turns of trigger, I don't like that. Uh, I'm gonna go into the back on the scissor. And then I'm just gonna knock off. So I switched off first, meaning he didn't actually switch. He just goes for wood hammer. That's not gonna do anything. Takes a little bit of recoil, whatever. So I'm gonna go for knockoff this time. Yeah, that gives me a lot of value. I know this thing can't touch me. If Guzzler comes out, at least I get its item. He goes in the zap there, so I get this thing's item. We'll see what it is. We knock off the zap doses. That is nothing, by the way. Leftovers, okay. Uh, how many turns to trick room? One left. Uh, so I'm actually gonna toxic this. It's out off my scissor.
Because that allows me to set up a Zygarde. Or Nihi. Nihi might just win. Nihi ends up, there's, I mean, our Zygarde looking really good. And as long as I keep feeding me back for Guzzlord, it should be fine. Guzzlord also doesn't die to one hit, so I'm going to Toxic this thing, which is cool. I personally think that was my best play. He goes for Hurricane, he does connect. Yeah, I think I always go Nihi now. Nihi or Zygarde? Who do I... Because if I... Let me think. I say he's defensive tree. I don't think a plus one hit kills. No, and I can't let that thing come back in. So I go for Nihi, yeah. And now I set for Meteor Beam. Yep, this is the play I make. Kills the tree, kills the Zapdos. It's just saying, this will kill the Zapdos. I get my boost. And I'm actually plus special attack on my beast boost this time. So I'll be at plus two if I kill this. Which is really big for me. So yeah, this is going to knock out the Zapdos. That's gone. I'm at plus two. Let me double check to see if I am, make sure everything's correct. I don't have Dazzling Gleam on my set, unfortunately. Which would just, the game would be over right now if I did. But, um... I just need to make sure I don't lose the tree. Guzzlord does tank a hit. But he goes out into this, so that's, actually, I think that's game. I don't see a way where he tanks this. My hardest hitting move is Sludge Wave. So I go for that. He, he doesn't live this, right? No shot. And I'll be plus three, and he doesn't know I don't have D-Gleam, but at this point it doesn't matter. Oh my god, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it, chat. It's plus three. I don't think Guzzler can break through everything here. I would be impressed. So I just go for Sludge Wave and get, do as much damage as I can. And uh, yeah, this is gonna... Uh, this Again, this probably doesn't kill, but I have a whole Feeny and a Zygarde in the back. Yeah, that doesn't kill. I'm gonna die to an Earthquake. And that's gonna... I just go on a Feeny and that'll be it. Oh my goodness. We're probably gonna manage to do it. You get the Beast Boost, I don't think that really matters. Gets in attack. He's life orb, yeah. So, I'm gonna give it to Feeny. Um, yeah, we both have Feeny, so we're gonna give it to that guy. Your Calgary flamethrowers are the NCP. Well, I'm gonna wait, hold on, let me wait, let me wait. Let's get the surge up. This is a way to go out. I wanna let you guys know for a little bit of history. Uh, in Gen uh, 7, I won my first ever championship on the final on my final draft game of Gen 7. And now on my final Wi-Fi draft game at least of Gen 8, we're gonna win a championship here. GG's to Q. Uh, big shout out to him. Again, go say GG to him in his chat and um, on his Twitch. And yeah, we are NCP two, 2022 SummerSlam champions. Let's go. We did it. GG's to Q. Again, all love to the Prep City, homie. Uh, let me just send him GG's, and, um, yeah, that was fun, uh, he brought two final Gamma Mons, that guy was a suicidal maniac with his mons there, but, um, yeah, this was awesome, uh, I wanna thank you guys in Twitch chat for the support along the way, uh, I'm really glad I decided to end up streaming this uh, NCP run, and, um, we managed to snag the championship in the end there, which is really nice. So, yeah, that was our NCP run, and that is how it ended. It was very nice to win a championship on my final Wi-Fi game of Generation 8. Uh, it's been a blast doing Gen 8 Wi-Fi and just Gen 8 Draft in general. And I'm glad at least the Wi-Fi era for Gen 8 for me is over. However, Gen 9 coming out in only a few months will be very happy to return and bring you guys more Draft content once Draft uh, Gen 9 hits in Wi-Fi. 
Uh, speaking of content though, I wanted to add a small introduction to A, I'm not going to go over my NCP team just because it wasn't really meant to be uploaded, but um, I do have one more draft series that I am uploading before the generation ends. It's my uh, top 10 series I do regarding my own draft career. Uh, the whole point of this channel was to sort of just document my draft career and it's going to stay true to that, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But, uh, otherwise, you know, shoutouts to Q, uh, his link is in the description below, shoutouts to people watching on YouTube here. Uh, I don't have much else of an outro, uh, and um, here's the Gen 9 draft, and uh, hopefully I see you guys soon. Bye!